Hello everyone. Today I will discuss about mitosis. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first, what is mitosis? So mitosis is a kind of cell division in which a parent cell divide into two identical daughter cells. Like suppose this is a parent cell, and by the mitosis it will divide into two identical daughter cells. So here identical means that these two daughter cells they have same chromosome number as that of this parent cell. Means the chromosome number of this parent cell and the chromosome number of this daughter cell is same. So that's why this mitosis is also called as equational division because the chromosome numbers are equal in both parent as well as in daughter cells. Now, why mitosis means why cells undergo mitosis. So, in multicellular organisms, the mitosis is required for the repair of old cells. So, by the mitosis, body repairs its old cells and make new cells. So, now let's discuss the phases of mitosis. So, we begin with interphase. So, this phase is phase before the mitosis. During this phase, cell prepare itself for the mitosis. So it make all the component like it make its DNA and other proteins. So that's why you can simply say the cell just preparing itself for the mitosis. So in the interphase, a typical cell have the following structure like it has nucleus which contains the genetic material. Then this nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear membrane and there is nucleolus also present within the nucleus. And as I told, the nucleus has a genetic material which are the chromosomes and during interphase, the DNA gets duplicated. This interphase consists of three subphases that is G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase. So DNA get duplicated in the S phase that is synthesis phase. So during interphase, the cell have the duplicated chromosomes and it also has the centroid which will make the spindle fiber. Now the first phase of mitosis starts with the prophase. Here the cell start to you can say lose the nuclear membrane and nucleolus and the genetic material that is these chromosome they condensed and take a shape of proper chromosome like you can see in the diagram. So here now we have properly condensed chromosomes and as I told the nuclear membrane and nucleolus they start disappearing or you can say they just disappeared at the late prophase. Now after the prophase the next phase is the metaphase. In this phase the chromosomes they just pulled toward the center of the metaphasic plate and here the, this pull is due to the presence of spindle fiber which are made from this centroil and these spindle fibers are the micro tubules. Now in the next phase that is anaphase. So here these chromosomes they are pulled toward the opposite poles and this pulling force is also due to the spindle fiber. So now in the anaphase they just reach to the opposite pole and in the next phase that is telophase. So as you can see here the formation of two new, new cells starts like here there is a formation of new nuclear membrane around the cells and the new nucleus will also be formed. So in the telophase you can say that two new nuclei they are formed across the chromosome. Now the next phase of mitosis is the cytokinesis. So here cyto means cytoplasm and kinesis means division. So after the telophase like you can clearly see here that in the telophase we have two nuclear cells but the cytoplasm is not divided yet. Here as you can see but during cytokinesis the cytoplasm also divide and we have the two new daughter cells as you can see and these daughter cells have the same chromosome complement as that of the parent cell. So that's why it is also known as equational division. So these are the phases of mitosis from prophase to cytokinesis. So that's all for today guys. Hope you like the video. See you in the next video.